which engine block do you prefer this one where it has an engraving at the top or this one where it has an engraving on the glass this is now part three of me manufacturing my fully functional uh, model engine and I've gotten up to this point. I still can't be bothered to put the pistons in here because there's no need for this um, I've already got my crankshaft working and what I basically did was I redesigned my um, Engine block the top half of it and what I did was I added some slots over there for the glass to go in um, I added some details on this side over here the engravings over here um, I added some holes which are purely aesthetic and then I recentered this so that it would match more because the depth of that was in the width of that was increased and then for the crank case what I did was I did basically the same thing uh, matched it up and added a slot on this side um, so that the glass could go in and that required me moving the magnets away from this side which means that I had to go on that side um, the same thing on the other side as well and then the crank shaft which is exactly the same realistically i'm going to double this wall thickness because i'm going to bolt it down or put magnets i'm still not sure yet so i'll have to increase the length of this um, on each side but i'm not going to do that yet because i can't be bothered to completely remodel a crankshaft right now i'm just going to put it on um the printer right now and then um i can just wait for it to be done I also started milling out these slots on my uh, metal so that the glass could go through for when I'm actually making the thing and that worked perfectly. I used a 5mm um, end mill and then I slotted it into the steel and I then tested it out with the glass and yep, it's working fully so those dimensions worked and yeah, now I can start with the print. Okay, so I got the new model on the printer right now. It's doing the initial layer height. It's going to be printing both of them at the same time, which you can see over there, and it's literally just started. So, um, I'm going to wait three and a half hours, and then this should be done. I laser cut a piece of acrylic when I was at school, and I can use that to slot it in between. And I'm going to use the same crankshaft. The actual model will have slightly thicker walls, so I'll need to extend the crankshaft. But this one I kept the same because I cannot be bothered to make a new crankshaft. It's just printing that first layer with the supports. Um, that first layer was done, and that's just going through everything carefully. Those parts over here, 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 and the one it's doing right now, also that one, they're all going to be support material because they're actually holes. I printed it upside down because um, it has that section for the acrylic, so if you printed it the other way around, it would be a very thin support that would probably just make it snap. So, yeah. Now you can start seeing it come apart. It's got those sections there, the grooves where the acrylic will go in. Um, this is starting to print nicely. Um, this is the time left, it's got 43 minutes. Um, and it's just going back and forth right now. And soon I can start testing it out. I've got this model over here that I tested before. The acrylic just slots into place from when I printed it yesterday. I'm going to need to print another piece though because it's gone a bit cloudy. That's the piece of acrylic. Sorry, it's not gone cloudy, it's gone a bit scratched up because I actually put this and that in the same um, compartment in my bag. So it's just gotten quite a bit scratched up. That will slot down over there, close on top of that one, and then you should be able to see the crankshaft in motion. The printer is now completely finished. I can remove it from the print bed. safely because I accidentally cracked that. Okay, now I've got that slotted in, I can do the same with the bottom part, and then I can assemble the crankshaft, put it in, and then I should be able to see um, the crankshaft moving up and down behind that screen. Oh, I also need to remove the supports, I completely forgot about that. Okay, so now I've got the crank case and I just slided the acrylic into it. Um, I've got my crankshaft right here, this is the old model and uh, the old crank case then i've got um this so i need to just put the crank shaft inside of it and then i can close it up um i'll need to destroy this so i can get the magnets out of it so i can use it for this because i haven't ordered any magnets so i need to do that um but for now it should be held in place by this bar which is fine especially since i'm going to be taking it in and out so i will just put that in now 
Okay, so now I've got the engine block. Everything else is exactly the same. I just cut out that section for the um, pistons to go. And so you can see the pistons. And let me try and rest this up again because I can use it with one hand. There's a lot of glare right now, actually. But you can see through there exactly how the pistons are actually moving. And it's actually really satisfying. So I need to take apart the old um, crank case, use the ma get the magnets out and use it for this. But it's, it's coming along nicely. I need to start adding some aesthetic changes to it because it's still looking a bit blank on this section here. The top is fine and it'll be fine when I machine it out of metal. Um, that side is also a bit blank, the back a bit blank. Um, and the bottom is blank. So maybe I'll add engravings. So like initials and then mark something for the prototype number on the bottom. But until then, I will just um, get the magnets and put them in here. I'm going to reprint this, but I'm going to add a few more designs like this engraving here. I4 uh, Mark 12, these grills that are on an actual one, but slightly different so I can machine it easily. Weight reduction holes on the side that just extrudes straight through the other side um i'm gonna do a different design on the other side and i haven't designed the crankshaft yet that's going to be separate so i'm gonna put it on the build plate now so i've now got the print off the print plate and <clears throat> you can see that engraving it looks really clean um i4 mark 12 and then it's got some designs that i added on this side that sign's a bit bare for now the back is the same as it was before but i added some extra holes and then everything exact same so i can slot the acrylic into there and then it will connect like normal but um, i'm going to take it in tomorrow i will remove those supports and i'll see exactly how it works now and now it's going to print a uh, cutout on here with acrylic that's already there See how deep it goes. So instead of going side to side, I'm, I'm not sure. It depends on the light that you have actually. Yeah, I kind of like the outline of the cutout. Yeah, it's definitely the outline. 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 Okay, so now that I'm done with everything, I took it off the laser cutter and you can see the engraving over here. I just went um, round with one more pass um, and it's working completely fine now. It still spins and everything and has the full functionality functionality of the other engine block. Um, but yeah, I just need to see which one you prefer so I can see which one I can make further iterations on. And with that, I will leave this part three um, and I'll wait until the next part.